IGCSE Biology Syllabus Statement 273 and we're looking at selective reabsorption of glucose in the proximal convoluted tubule. So selective reabsorption means that the molecule is selected and of course it's glucose as it says and the reabsorption refers to the idea that it will go from the glomerular filtrate and it will go back into the blood. So this is a strange idea in filtration that we've removed the molecule from the blood but we're going to put it back. The filtration you'll remember occurs in this structure here known as the Bowman's capsule and in the formation of the fluid which fills the capsule under the high pressure of the blood um, it contains glucose. Remember the list of items in the filtrate was glucose, water, salt, glucose, water, salt and urea and we saw already that water is removed back into the blood in the collecting duct. Now at the end of the nephron coming out of here is the urine and normally urine does not contain glucose. In fact if you test uh, urine for glucose and receive a positive test this is an indication of a condition known as diabetes. So normally there would be no glucose in the urine and yet glucose is actually in the fluid at this point here and the reason for this is that in the first convoluted tubule remember this is known as the proximal convoluted convoluted means twisted tubule meaning tube proximal first convoluted twisted tubule the first twisted tube in this first twisted tube section glucose is removed so we have glucose here it's removed and is taken back into blood so glucose is selectively reabsorbed into the blood in the proximal convoluted tubule there is no glucose in urine.